somebody with severe mast cell activation usually have a lot of other things wrong. See, the mast cell activation is the end result of multiple immune system pathways converging that ended up becoming mast cell activation. Mast cell activation is not usually the problem, or I should say it's not the root cause, it's the end consequence of other things that's driving the mast cells to release too much histamine and other mediators. Now, you can still manage the mast cell activation to reduce histamine release, so then you feel symptomatically better, but treating symptoms is not the same as addressing the root cause. So you must find what is driving the mast cell activation. And for different people, it might be different. For one person, it might be mold. For another person, it might be all gut problems. For another person, it might be autoimmunity. For another person, it might be even COVID. You know, COVID can drive mast cell issues and lead to POTS. So it's almost like you got to take a personalized one-on-one -on -one approach because not everybody with mast cell activation have the same problem.